Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to my YouTube. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film lots of videos here on my YouTube all about spirituality and relationships and metaphysics and emotional regulation and so, so much more. And for this video, I want to talk about change and implementing change because for at least, I want to say 10 years, maybe even more than that, like 15 years or something, there have been a lot of lifestyle changes that I've wanted to make in my own life. And it has taken me until now <laughs> to finally implement them and them actually stick and like I still feel like I'm at the beginning of it so I don't know exactly what's going to happen in the future but I feel so much more secure and grounded in the new change that I feel like it's way more likely for me to stick with it so I want to talk about what actually switched and shifted for me to be able to stick with it and the number one change I've been trying to make is to go fully plant-based and not with junk food or vegan junk food or any of that stuff, but like fully just fruits and vegetables and like alkaline kind of grains and things like that. And it has been such a battle for me to transition to this and I'm still only in the process of transitioning. I, I'm nowhere near completely there yet, but I feel like because now I'm starting to actually implement the changes as well as my spiritual practices and energy work and making those a daily habit and routine and like journaling and things like that. There's just so many things that I've been adding to my daily routines and lifestyle that have been things I've really wanted to implement for such a long time and because there were so many as well it felt really overwhelming to be able to do that and to like completely transform your whole life so for me what I've noticed with this is that I tend to go back and forth with it and I don't know if this is going to be something that resonates with you I don't I feel like we all do things differently and sometimes it's the same but sometimes like nah it may not work for you whatsoever which is totally fine but something that I've definitely seen for myself is that I can't just jump straight into a fully new lifestyle even if it's just one change that I want to make the chances of me sticking to that thing consistently is pretty small <laughs> it takes a lot for me to really stick with it and I've noticed that I will start doing something and then I will stop and then I will start and then I will stop and there's been so many times where I've said to my mum or somebody in my family like oh I'm gonna be doing this thing and they're like yeah okay we've heard this before we know you're gonna do this thing but then you end up giving up anyway so you're clearly not gonna stick with it even if you do it for a week or something because that's just been the way that I have done things is like I will try it I'll be really excited about it and then a few days later I will have completely given up on it and I realise the main shift that's happened now compared to before is the mindset and the like I said about feeling grounded in it it's like how do I put it into words <laughs> so I feel like it's more of an inner shift that happens before the external can catch up which makes sense because obviously the mental and emotional planes manifest first before the physical plane the physical is like the last plane of existence to catch up and so this is why manifestation can sometimes take a little bit of time you know you really want something internally and you like you really believe in it but physically it's not manifested yet and this is where a lot of patience and surrender comes in and stuff like that and holding the vision but so in terms of like sticking to a change I've realized that I needed to actually do the inner work alongside trying to implement the change and one of those things is to stop beating myself up whenever I would fall off because I also have realized that we're never going to be perfect with it like for instance one of the things I really wanted to do was wake up at five o'clock in the morning every day and I kept trying and I would do it for a few days and then I would fall off and stop and then I would be able to get back onto it sometimes and then other times I would just be so mad at myself for missing a day that I literally would just give up and then I wouldn't 
be waking up at five o'clock at all on any of the other days and I've realized like how OTT <laughs> And how suffocating is it for me to expect myself to get up at five o'clock every day for the rest of my life, no matter what's going on in my life, no matter what time I go to bed, I'm still expecting myself to go to bed. I'm still expecting to get up at five o'clock in the morning. And I realise that life just cannot be as rigid and restrictive as that because we are not perfect and things happen. If I'm out one evening with family or friends or something and I don't get to bed till two in the morning, I'm not gonna wanna get up at five, especially if I don't have anywhere to be. If I'm just in my house, why am I gonna force myself to have three hours sleep, you know? Like, things happen and events come up and there's like holidays, there's Christmas, there's your birthday. There's gonna be so many occasions where that type of expectation is just too much and I'm learning to find the balance between doing things that are good for you and like implementing lifestyle changes that really benefit you and you can notice the uh, mood shift with it and stuff and like it raises your vibration by doing them but then punishing yourself when you miss a day is also completely counterproductive and lowers your vibration and also kind of puts you off even doing the thing in the first place because then it starts to feel like a chore and it starts to feel like a punishment and something that's not actually fun anymore so since taking that pressure off internally, I've started to actually stick with the changes because there's still days where I miss it. There's still days where I don't meditate or I don't get up at five or four or six or whatever the time may be that I've set myself for that week. There's still days where it doesn't happen and I'm learning how to be okay with that because we cannot be perfect with everything. and. With dietary changes, okay, it is a little bit more difficult if you're really trying to give up like dairy or something like that, which I'm definitely trying to do. Obviously, if you fall off of that, I can understand why you would punish yourself, but at the same time, like we are human, or we are flawed, and when you're really trying to stick to something that you've never done before and something that is not what you're familiar with, like it's not something that you're used to around you. Maybe other people don't do it. Maybe it's not something that you've really experienced in your day-to-day -day life with your family and friends. So of course, it's gonna be difficult for you to actually stick with it for yourself. And if you fall off and you have a day or a month where you don't stick with it, it's okay and we don't need to punish ourselves. As I said in my last video about punishing yourself for how you feel, we don't need to punish ourselves for not being perfect perfect. It's very difficult to stick to certain things forever, you know, and <laughs> some things are just not possible to stick to forever. So not only have I realised internally that I cannot be perfect with it, but I've also realised that I don't need to be perfect with it and through taking that pressure off I've been able to stick with certain things that I really want to stick with for example I have cut out chocolate and sweets and any kind of sugary junk food I am on week two of that and this is the longest the longest that I have ever gone without snacking on some kind of chocolate or like sugary dessert thing because I just always would comfort eat and emotional eat with those types of food and I've done that since I was a child and it's a huge habit that I'm trying to break and now we are in week two of me not touching any of it especially the fact that it's been new year and my family are all eating it in front of me and even offering it to me and I'm saying no and I'm walking away and I'm working through the emotions and like the oh my god I really want it kind of cravings that are coming up and I'm being able to actually regulate my emotions so it just goes to show how all of this inner work works together to be able to implement the changes that you want and be able to go after your dreams and your goals and all of the different lifestyle and habit types of things that you want to implement all of it 
can kind of coincide with each other that when you're doing your shadow work and things it impacts other areas of your life so through learning how to regulate my emotions just in my daily life is now really helping me to be able to regulate my emotions when a craving comes up of something that I'm trying to stop being addicted to and stop rushing to every time I get emotionally up in the fields and just want to snack on something <laughs> you know so we're trying to stop doing that right now so allowing yourself to have days where you do it and you're consistent and then days where you're not and being able to be okay and accepting of the fact that okay this day I didn't do that thing that's fine tomorrow I'm gonna do it and then being able to actually do it that tomorrow when the tomorrow comes instead of being like ah oh, and keep pushing it to the next day and the next day being able to actually be disciplined enough to be like okay tomorrow I am going to do it because I didn't do it today and then when tomorrow comes around without the pressure you're able to enjoy doing it and especially when it's healthy lifestyle changes and you start to feel the benefits of them so for example when I am doing my energy work and clear clearing my aura of other people's energy and calling my own back oh my god I have noticed a huge huge difference with with energetic boundaries and noticing the difference between my energy and my beliefs versus somebody else's and being able to clear theirs out of my space and through practice of like taking the pressure off allowing myself to do it and if I don't do it the next day, then I don't do it the next day and that's fine. And just keep going back to it whenever I remember to through that process of like stopping and starting, stopping and starting. I've noticed such a huge difference when I do it that it's then encouraged me to want to do it again. And so now sometimes I'm doing it multiple times a day. I'm not needing to sit at my altar every single time. I could be in the bathroom, I could be showering, I could be cooking and I'm like, oh my God, I'm feeling someone's energy right now. Let me clear it out quickly. You know, like it's just becoming more of a, a habit that I don't even need to think about because the level of awareness and like embracing the habit has formed and I actually enjoy it and I notice the benefits of it so it's a lot easier for me to stick with and continue doing every day so I just think taking the pressure off and allowing yourself to stop start with it is actually a huge progression forwards because sometimes it can feel like when you stop you're taking a million steps back but what you're actually doing is you're going in like a cycle and you're being able to cyclically move forwards rather than like like things aren't a straight line they're a circle you know so oftentimes we come back around to old trauma to be able to heal that and integrate that on a deeper level and it's the same with habits and routines you're being able to like come back around to things to implement the new things that you've learned to be able to um take the habit and like try it <laughs> literally trial and error it see what works see what doesn't then you might go back to the old thing and then you realize actually I do want to do the new thing let me commit to it again but I realized that this way didn't work so let me try this other way you know like it just takes stopping and starting and trying and giving up and figuring it out and seeing what works for you and not punishing yourself for not being perfect with it and for it taking time because habits do take a bit of time especially if it's breaking a generational cycle and a cultural and societal cycle then it may take a bit more time for you to really stick to it especially because we are programmed to follow the crowd and we are programmed to fit in and blend in and be excited accepted through people pleasing and stuff like that so when you're really standing in your truth and you're doing things for yourself sometimes it can take a bit of time to get comfortable in that to get used to your own authenticity and to own it and to you know walk in it and everything so go easy on yourself while you try and implement these changes and just know that you're still progressing even if it feels like you're taking steps backwards you've learned so much so those steps backwards are still 
still you learning and you're not going backwards really you're just going to something that you used to know but with more knowledge so you've really moved forwards if that makes sense but yeah i hope this video was helpful thank you so so much for watching i really appreciate you i hope you're having the best week definitely check out the description box below for everything about me links to my music to my handmade crystal jewelry to my podcast that i have now changed the name of if you saw that little video i have changed the name of my podcast to elemental mirror which is the same name as my shop for my crystal jewelry and yeah so that content is going to be completely separate from my youtube so the link to that is in the description and everything else about me also my phone number because i do send weekly inspirational messages on whatsapp and everything else about me and i will see you in the next video bye love it how you move me forward, move me forward. tell them that you're on